We're going to learn about Vocabulary Builder using Empower on an Accent device with LAMP Words for Life vocabulary. All right, so uh, I want to give a thank you to the PRC people who are on the team who developed this. They did a great job. It does so many amazing things. So anyway, just a quick shout out to them. All right, let's get busy and learn how to use it. Remember what Vocabulary Builder is. It's the ability to hide a word or two or three or whatever number of words you want really quickly uh, so an individual can say what they want to say when they want to say it. So I'm working with an individual and they have a large vocabulary, which is always needed for a language explosion to happen. You have to have many words. But suddenly I see that the child wants to say my turn. And so they, I can see they want to say that, so I want to hide all the words but my turn to give them success saying that word or two words. So here's how you use Vocabulary Builder. You start by hitting menu right here. And then you go over here and you hit the one that says Vocabulary Builder right here. Now, it's off and it tells you that. It says Vocabulary Builder is off. Please turn it on in order to use it. I like that. And here's where you turn it on, right here. So when you touch this spot, it turns blue and it comes on. Usually, forgive mine for not doing looking like yours will look. Yours would look like this almost every time, but it wouldn't necessarily every time. So you hit hide all if you have to, to get everything gray. That's the way it'll show up the first time. Now. Now that it's on, because it's blue and everything's hidden, you can now highlight or touch the words you want to work. Now this works great if you know where the word is. So right now, if I wanted to do my, and then I do go back to get to the next word, and I know where the word turn is, I can hit those two and then I can go back, or I could have just exited. So that's how quick my. you could give someone the ability to say my turn. turn. Now, if in the middle of this, I wanted to add the word stop, because all of a sudden I realized they want to also tell me to stop. What's nice is you can go to the menu, vocabulary builder, and if you know where that word is, you can just touch it and hit stop and then exit again. You see how it takes you right back, which is really nice. Stop. Okay, that's the basics of vocabulary builder, but there's a lot more to learn. You always want to be toggling vocabulary builder off and on really quickly. So once they did my turn and stop in this situation and loved it and saw the fun in saying those words, you'd always want to toggle it back off and then see how they do. So to toggle it off, you hit menu, vocabulary builder. Remember, this is your off and on button, so you turn it off. And then you exit right here. See, now all the words are back. Now the words they learned are still in the same spot. Turn but there are a lot more words Hi. to say, which is very beneficial that they hit those miss hits going for the word and you get to react to them. But you also want success. So now if they tried for a little bit and they can't find the word at the rate you want them to be able to find it, what's really nice is that when you go back to Vocabulary Builder, when I go back to turn it on, it remembers where I was last so that when I exit, I'm back to the exact spot I was earlier. I want you to notice that this little button here pops up telling the vocabulary builders on. Usually you know it by looking at the device, but it's not bad that you have this little extra cue right here. Okay, now we have a lot more to learn, but that's the basics of vocabulary builder. The next thing they did is really added a tool for you when you don't know where the word is. The way I just did it on the fly, I'm gonna call that on the fly, I think that's what they call it too. A vocabulary builder, when you know where the word eat is, you can touch it on the fly and exit, and it works great. One nice thing they did, let me show you another little thing about on the fly. If I wanted to add colors now and juice, so the child would say red juice or green juice. When I go to menu, vocabulary builder, what's really nice is when I touch the rainbow for colors, I can touch more than one spot. And if I touch one I didn't want, I can touch it again to get rid of it. And then I just hit go back. So now I can go get juice. So it's really slick, and you exit, and now you have those words. And again, wow. I know we've covered this, but I always want to remember to toggle off really quickly and exit to see how they do, and if they don't do well, go right back to the activity by toggling in and out real quickly. And I know I'm doing that fast, but that's how I want you to be able to do it, is real fast. So I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna toggle it off and on one more time, and you do it with me. Hit Menu, go real fast to Vocabulary Builder, Toggle down here to turn this gray, and then go right up here fast to exit. Now you want to get back to where you were last, go really fast. Go from menu, go 
your vocabulary builder, turn it on, and you're flying right over here to exit. All right, that's how you toggle in and out, and that's how you add words on the fly. But like I said, oftentimes the word is, it's a word you don't know where it is. So in the middle of this activity, I have a child who wants to say happy and sad. It doesn't make any sense, or fast and slow. Whatever it is, it's a word I may know that's in there, but I don't know where it is, so I can't use the on the fly method. So I'm gonna teach you two ways to do this, and they're both really slick. All right, so this is how you spell a word to add it to your vocabulary builder list. In some ways, it's faster and sometimes. So go to menu, vocabulary builder, and look how they gave you this little quick show right here. It's really a slick button. I'm gonna say it's in the middle for a reason because it's a nice key. So you hit quick show. It takes you, look, it says type words to show separated by commas. So now I can do fast, comma, slow, and I can do more than two words, and I can do mom, slash, whoops, I did a comma, dad. And when I'm done, what I love is right when you hit finished, it pops you all the way out, so you don't have to sit there, so now mom and dad show up. Mom. Everything else is the same. Dad. That's one way to do it. So let's do it one more time. You need the word help, and it's not on here. You know it's not there. So you go to menu, vocabulary builder, this quick show, say quickly, give me the word help. And you say finished, and now it shows up. Help. All right, so you get how that works. That's the, mainly that's vocabulary builder in a nutshell, but we're gonna take this a little farther because PRC did such a beautiful job with their team giving us more tools. Okay, uh, sometimes when you spell a word, it's nice to see the words that are in there. So when you go to menu, and you go to Vocabulary Builder, instead of doing this quick show, if you go to Edit List, it actually gets to show you all the words that are in your list. So you can actually sit here and you can look at these words to see what's in there. But you can also add a word now. So if I had a, if I had a young man or woman that needed the word beer, and they needed the word wine, and they wanted the word red, they wanted the word white, and they want the word pink. Now they can say finished, and it goes in and finds those words, and look, it tells you this one was already added. And it says, these are the words we're gonna add then. I just love that. Then you say okay. Now you can see all the words in your list. When you say finished and exit, you now have those new words. One, white. All right, so now you realized that, um, I don't know, you want, you, want to, you want to add some other word, like the word go. You'd probably be best off if you just did that on the fly. If you know where it is, you could touch it. But I really find this quick show, go, finished, to be even quicker. That's just for me. You get several options. Okay, that's your basics vocabulary builder. If you know that, you're doing really well. The next thing I'm going to talk about is creating a list of words that you can use again in the future. So I'm going to go to my vocabulary builder, and I'm going to say, show all, or excuse me, I'm gonna say hide all, which hides everything. It's like starting all the way over. And I'm gonna exit to show you what this looks like. It's important you see, if it looks like this, and this vocabulary builder is on, this is what's happened. You've, you've hidden everything. You think my machine's broke, I lost all my words. So what you'd have to do is go to vocabulary builder and turn it off. Now you'd have all your words back. So that, that can happen to you once in a while. But anyway, I'm gonna give you an activity. I really don't like setting vocabularies for, this is me personally, and it's, I, I know people disagree, but I don't like having circle time vocabulary because in circle time, somebody pulls my hair and I wanna tell them to stop or it hurts or quit. In circle time, I wanna flirt with a girl next to me. I like to use vocabulary builder to give you the word you wanna say when you wanna say it. No, but that I don't have, you have, could have a different opinion. So I'm gonna give you an activity I could live with. I love to cook, and when I'm cooking, I would if I had a child who used a device, I would love them to have something that, where they can make me do things. It's always good to have kids who are using devices or adults make people do things, not get things all the time. So I want them to make me drink, I want them to make me eat, I want them to make me jump and sing and things like that, which is a perfect activity. And while I do this, they find reward in it, so I wanna do it again the next day. So I'm gonna create a list of words that I can do during this time when I cook every day. All right, you get the activity. You go to menu, 
you go to Vocabulary Builder, you, got, you turn it on, and this time you're gonna actually go in here where it says Edit List. And I want you to do it the way I'm doing it. I don't know why it makes sense to me, and I want you to go to Manage List, and I always want you to create one. So I want you to create it. So I say create a list, and before you go any farther, because your finger's already there, I want you to change the name of it. So right, at, right when you said create it, I want you to change the name. So I'm gonna call this one Dad Cooking Fun. And I'm gonna say finished. Now I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna add the things I want my dad to do, or my kids want me to do, what they want me to cry, they want me to be happy. They want me to kiss, which I love that one, and they want me to hug and they want me to jump, and they want me to sleep so I can snore. They want me to find things that are red and blue and green, so I have to search through the cabinets, and they want me to sing. All right, you get the idea. When I say finished, I've now named this, so I say okay, so if I ever want this again, so now I, now I have I finished again, I apologize, I went too fast, and I'm gonna say exit, and I have this beautiful activity that um, my kids like to make me do. Yes. And the other kids get turns to make me do these things too in the house. Cry. So all the kids are getting turns making me do things kind of like a Simon says, if you do it on the talker, I do it. Of course, we kind of want to go to a two word utterance. So we want to make that, we're going to see if they could actually direct whether mom or dad does the activity. So I'm going to make a change to this list by going to my vocabulary builder. I'm going to do my quick show, mom comma dad. And that quick, I just added mom and dad to this. So now you can see, I can now tell mom or dad mom. to be cry. Cry. Okay. Now let's create a second one. Because if you only have the one, you just go to it. But I want to create a second one. Uh, I have a child who loves getting in the car and driving. And we've decided to be fun if they could actually direct me where to drive. So I'm going to go in here to menu, vocabulary builder, edit list. Just trust me on this, I want you to, to name it first. Manage list, create the list. But before you go any farther, right now I want, there's, you'll, if you don't do it this way, you're gonna learn why. And sometimes you just have to experience it, but I want you to name it before you go any farther. So change this to mom, dad, drive. And finished. Now I'll go down here and give me the words you want me to learn while or you know I have fun saying. I like telling you to stop. I like telling you to go. I love you to go fast. I love you to go slow. Well, I'm working on right and left. And I'm also working on, well, what else would I do? I would also do uh, crazy. You're going to drive crazy. That one may be somewhat inappropriate, but you say finished. So it added seven words. It's got all those words in there and I say okay and I hit finished and I hit exit. So now I have this fun activity where I whirl yes. and I squeal the tires and I go, go and I stop and I'm just driving on gravel roads stop. so they can make me do all kinds of fun things with the car. All right, so we've not harmed anybody. We're having fun. We toggle it off just like before. We've learned to toggle off in the middle of activities to see how they do with everything showing, to see if they can still find the words they were having fun with. If they can't, we toggle right back. We hit, we hit I'm gonna start from the beginning. We hit menu, vocabulary builder. We toggle it back on. We exit, it remembers where we were last. But now we've driven home and it's time for the cooking fun. So now we have to switch our activity. So now we go to menu, Vocabulary Builder, and look how nice this is. Don't go in here again. Go to this change list. And when you hit it, it takes you right to the dad cooking fun one. Then you say finished, exit. So look how quick that is. So now if I, now we get back in the car an hour later and I want him to drive, I go to Vocabulary Builder, change list, go to the mom, dad driving one, and finished, and exit. You got it, that's how slick it is. Now I do wanna warn you again, I can't help myself. Uh, children do not, will not have that language explosion if we're giving them these lists all day long where we go from home vocabulary to circle time vocabulary to, to cooking vocabulary to laundry room vocabulary. 
Um, we need to be able to say what we want to say when we want to say it. And once you've taught it to me, I should be able to say it again. You use Vocabulary Builder to give me the ability to say what I want to say when I want to say it. So usually, you're not using Vocabulary Builder. You, you have a large vocabulary and you're saying words. And then when you're following my lead and you see that I want to say the word stop and go, then you're going to Vocabulary Builder, turning it on, saying hi to all then you're probably doing your quick show, or if you know how to say it quickly with a finger. See, I think it's slightly quicker for me to do the quick show and type the word eat, come, and drink. For me, personally, I don't have to think, I just do it, but either way works perfect. And then you toggle it back off when you're done. So once again, I want to give a big shout out to the people at PRC who developed this. They, it's, it was really a lot of hard work, I'm sure. I think they did a great job, and it's a great tool, and I hope your kids and your adults and the individuals you work with really do benefit from this. All right, I hope that makes some sense on how to use Vocabulary Builder.